about now we should all be aware of Robert Smith. We should be familiar with Robert Smith, the Morehouse billionaire that paid off the debt of all the graduates. Listen, when I heard about that, chills went through me, man. Chills went through me because this is a prime example of actions speak louder than words. But then Bernie Sanders came along and decided to speak on him, decide to politicize it, decide to, in a sense, monetize it because if he speak on things that he feel that's important to you, then you will vote for him. That he will become president of the United States, which that's not going to happen. But just like they did with gun control, every time there was a mass shooting or school shooting, they stand up and politicize gun violence and call for banning firearms. Well, Bernie Sanders is doing the same thing with this billionaire. Now, I always feel that if you're really concerned, if you're that concerned about college tuition, then maybe you should piggyback off of what Robert Smith did and you pay off some students' loan debts. Pay it off. Prove that you're not just talking because Bernie Sanders don't want to pay off debts with his own money. He wants to pay off debts, according to him, with your tax dollars. That's just another excuse to go up on your taxes because the average American will end up paying for these reduced student loan debts that he's speaking about. But I'm going to play the video and let you listen for yourself. Listen to what Bernie Sanders said. Now, he's going to start out with flowery words, a very kind gentleman. And then he's going to say, but after he give these kind flowery words, listen to what comes after the but. Check it out. Yesterday, some of you may have noticed that a very kind gentleman, a billionaire, um, forgave the debts of a student at Morehouse. What he did was very generous. But the truth is that private charity alone is not going to solve a problem in which some 40 million Americans are struggling with right now. Over a trillion dollars in student debt. And the time, again, is long overdue to stop the punishment of millions of people who did nothing wrong except try to get the best education that they could. And that is why, together, we will substantially reduce student debt in this country. Now, you hear what he said now. Mr. Smith paid off the debt loans of majority black males. So now they're graduating with no student loan debt at all. None at all. He paid it off. Now, how he go about doing that, I'm not sure. I don't know if it's grants or whatever, because he can just write that off. He can write it off as charitable donations. But there's no other billionaire, politician, celebrity, whatever, ever stood up and put their money where their mouth is. Again, be careful of these demon crap politicians that only feed you what they think you want to hear be it abortion, be it uh, student loan debts, 
be it public housing, health care. These are all the things that they feel that's important to you. And if they stand up and tell you that we must do this together, and they've been saying this for centuries, for decades, and nothing is done. Look at the condition of the average black American and notice he went from talking about what a billionaire did to a black college to the average American. Everyone as a whole. It's the same thing with reparations. If Bernie Sanders really cared, he tried to work to get reparation for black Americans, but yet he quickly and sternly rejected reparations. So when a black man stands up, a black billionaire stands up and says, I'm going to help my people. Now, I'm sure there were probably some white people in the mix because Morehouse do have white students. But the majority of those students are young black males that's graduating debt free. And I give the highest, the most highest respect to Mr. Robert Smith because he's done something that a lot of people talk about, but no one's done anything to that magnitude. No one has ever done what this man has done. And I give him, give him the utmost respect. That's a prime example of actions speaking louder than words. People love to stand up and say what we need to do, knowing that they have billions in their bank account. They don't mind giving charity to other countries. But yet when it comes to people right here in their own country, they want to stand up and politicize it so their families can become wealthy and rich off of your votes. But again, there's going to be black folks that's going to vote, vote, for, uh, vote for Bernie Sanders because they're still asleep they're still stuck on the demon crap plantation. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe. Until next time, I'm fear.